Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to thank my colleague uh, for Drummond for his speech. I am also frankly shocked by the decision today whereby the Kinder Morgan pipeline in Burnaby would be bought with a $4.5 billion price tag. And this is merely for the current pipeline, which is over 60 years old. At the same time, the government has made a promise and put forward their will to expand this pipeline, this very controversial pipeline against Aboriginal and Indigenous rights, against the interests of the province of British Columbia. I would like to ask my colleague, what does he think about this bill that has to do with sustainable development? What, why have such a bill and a uh, presentation about uh, sustainable development? The member for Drummondville. I would like to thank my Green Party colleague for her very pertinent question. It also refers to other shattered promises. The, trans the Kinder Morgan Trans Mountain Pipeline's failure comes back to another shattered promise from the government that said from when it was elected, it would revise the environmental process, environmental evaluation process that was shattered by Stephen Harper. But they have dragged their heels, and only now do we have a revision tabled as a bill today, in June, three years afterwards, Madam Speaker. They've dragged their heels, and they've adopted this bad pipeline project with a bad environmental assessment that had been completely sacked by the Harper government and the Conservatives. Of course, the Liberals are responsible for their own failure. Questions and comments?